Aloha, everybody. Aloha. Aloha and welcome. Welcome to day 16 of the 30 days of Reiki 30. My name is Taylor Norris and I am a Yusui Holy Fire 3 Karuna Reiki Master. And my intention with this series is to offer you a taste of the healing frequencies of Reiki energy to answer your questions. So please feel free to drop your questions in the chat, DM me at Joyful Raw Life, leave a comment, ask me anything having to do with Reiki or energy medicine, healing. I would be happy to answer your questions here on those topics. And I'm also here giving you a chance to resonate with Reiki and see if you want to go deeper because I offer sessions online, I offer classes online, and they are really beautiful experiences. Reiki is a Japanese technique for relaxation and stress reduction that also promotes healing, mental healing, emotional healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, whatever kind of healing is necessary. It's a complementary therapy it is an energy medicine and today I'll be sharing more about the science, more about the evidence, more about what what does the science say about this, what, you know, I thought Reiki was just woo-woo airy-fairy stuff. Well, it turns out it's actually not. It's being studied more and more all the time, so that'll come a little later. But what else do I want to tell y'all? When you experience Reiki, clients are usually saying they feel very relaxed, they feel calm, they feel peaceful. Y'all, if you've tuned into these lives, and chances are you have felt some of those feelings as well. Reiki sessions, Reiki classes, this is how you can expect to feel. Reduces stress. People are often having very deep spiritual experiences, seeing visions receiving spiritual guidance, feeling different sensations, um, talking to their guides, talking to angels, you know, feeling empowered to live their fullest, best lives, even if that is way bigger, way better than what society has them thinking or what others around them has them thinking is possible for them. It's really, Reiki is really about healing and about spiritual growth. So people even have miraculous healings. That's possible too. We'll be talking today about like what's very normal, what's studied in terms of Reiki results. But miracles, I've seen miracles happen and miraculous healings can happen as well. So it's very, very exciting. I have some classes coming up. I will put the link to those, to all my, all my offerings. I'll put the link there so y'all can go see that if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one Reiki session or you're interested in taking a class. I have the beginner class coming up in November and the master class coming up in December at very potent new moon times and and these are experiences these classes for for people what they experience typically is a lot of spiritual growth a lot of personal growth a lot of transformation healing of different issues that might be maybe long-standing issues they've had for a while and kind of gave up on healing those are the kinds of things that can kind of start giving way when we invite this energy into our lives. So, all right, enough about that. You wanna share, <laughs> you wanna share me, <laughs> you wanna support me in a free way. You can give this a heart, you can like this, that really helps me out. You can share this too, especially if you come on, you feel some healing, you feel some good energy, then that really helps the energy go 
further, reach more people. I can really use all the help I could get with that. So please feel free to share this, tag me so I can see and feel your love and, you know, return the love as well. Um, but yeah, y'all know, like, this is a challenging time for people. We need all the help we can get. And right now, Reiki is still a modality that maybe is not as well known as it will be in a decade. And I'm really here to bridge that gap. So, Reiki and the science. I was actually reading an article the other day in Oprah, Oprah.com, and it was like explaining what Reiki was, I think from a Reiki practitioner, a Reiki master or something. And then it was like, you know, there's no scientific evidence to support <laughs> Reiki works. And I was like, oh my God, this is ignorant. This is really ignorant um, because that's not true. If y'all watched my series, The 40 Days of Reiki I did earlier this year. I had one day where I was talking about the science around Reiki and Reiki in hospitals and it is. It's like I was quoting things from like 2008 showing that you know hundreds of hospitals had actually implemented Reiki programs in hospitals. You know mainstream hospitals where they're doing you know medicine completely western western style medicine there's a Reiki program there in many hospitals. Really, really phenomenal. And this is back over 10 years ago. Now, you know, I, I would like to see the statistics about how many hospitals are offering Reiki now. I know there's one in England that has this like huge Reiki program. B, you should go check that out. I see B just came on. Anyway, so what I was looking at today was just how much research there is and like not oh like back in 1999 like there was this one study like no that's not the case at all um so i am a i forgot to mention this but i'm a professional member of the international center of reiki training i'm not sure where in england it is be it might be like really far away from you but i'm a professional member of the International Center for Reiki Training, making Reiki, bridging Reiki basically into the mainstream world, so that one day it's like completely normal and everybody's having sex, it's like massages, you know, but even, even more normal, you know, in society still it's like insurance isn't covering massages for most people, it's like, come on, what are you, what are you covering, like, drugs? Anyway, I'm not going to get off tangent, off on a, a tangent, but so there's also the Center for Reiki Research, which is going to great lengths to pull together, amass all of the existing Reiki research to peer review it, not just be like, oh, there's this like study that was done with like terrible design and it was like on one person one time by someone who wasn't even doing Reiki and there are absolutely no control. Like, no, these are, they're reviewing the research, they're reviewing the literature to make sure it's legit, it's really uh, showing effects and measuring what's supposed to be measured and amassing all of this research and also continuing the research because that's one of the problems too for modalities like Reiki uh, modalities that really aren't to catering to like pharmaceutical uh, companies and like big tech and big pharma y'all know the bigs all the bigs um, it can be challenging to get the research together and to have as much research and randomized control trials and like the top-notch research on these things that aren't catering to the interests of these these big corporations and and the bigs however I was very very impressed when I went to the Center for Reiki Research their website today and I was looking at the literature and um, you know just looking at studies like through to 2018 like 2000 right now back in time to 2018 there were so many so many these last few years published 
published studies showing the efficacy, the effectiveness of Reiki on so many different issues, on so many different populations, with different study designs too. Different study designs, all peer-reviewed research, appearing in major respected medical journals, okay? So what I was finding, and I'm on their website right now, so that's why I'm looking down, I got my computer right now, my good, my good friend, the laptop is right here. So they're showing that Reiki is beneficial for informal caregivers, people who are taking care of sick people at home. They showed that Reiki was beneficial for the stress level of caregivers of cancer patients. Really hard to take care of people with cancer. I mean, that's a very serious, debilitating illness. And Reiki was helping the stress of those caring for those patients. Reiki was also helpful for children receiving palliative care in the home. Reiki was helpful on heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature, and stress levels in a RCT, like the best kind of study there is, randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled study. Reiki was, okay, and they also, they have studies where they're, they're canceling out all the effects of, you know, placebo effect, the variables that are associated with placebo effect, because it's really easy to be like, well, maybe it was just placebo, they believed they were receiving something helpful. No, this study excluded those variables responsible for the placebo effect on a group of adults. Guess what? It still worked. Then they've studied Reiki on pre-op anxiety, depression, well-being. There were a lot of studies on that. You know, before surgery, people are really freaked out. They're really scared. They're really anxious. They're sad, too. Maybe it's a condition they've had for a long time and Reiki was shown to assist with increasing feelings of well-being and decreasing symptoms around um, in amongst pre-op patients. So Reiki was helpful on pain and anxiety in women hospitalized for OBGYN like reproductive issues uh, Reiki and guided imagery were helpful on pain and fatigue, again, in cancer patients. Then they're studying also the volunteer Reiki programs in various healthcare facilities. They're showing that it was helpful for chronic pain in military healthcare facilities. Yes, exactly. The stars are aligning for peace and healing. Namaste, a meditative journal, journey. Absolutely. This is a time in time and space where we really can heal. The stars are really supporting us right now to heal anything. And this is a modality that will continue to come to the fore. I swear by the stars. So... Pre-op Reiki, helpful for anxiety levels of patients about to have surgery. Again, you know, validating that. And then there's a large-scale effectiveness trial of Reiki for physical and psycho psychological health, looking at a lot of different variables. Yes, B says we need healing now more than ever before. Yeah, and it's possible now. It's more and more possible because light workers like you, like me, like so many of us are are really stepping into our power. And that's something again, Reiki really helps with. You know, like a year ago I wasn't I was too scared to even do a live. I was just starting to do lives. Two years ago, I would not have gotten on camera live and like, you know, I could do a recorded video or something, but it really, the past two years, I've had this, this real like strong call, this urgency. And I think so many people who are taking Reiki now are feeling this call. Like I want to be in service. I want to be in service now. How can I step up? How can I be a leader? How can I help other people? Because each of us have specific gifts and talents that we can bring to the fore that are exactly 
what's needed right now. You are so natural in life. Thank you, B. Yeah, I was terrified. I was terrified. Yeah. So, I was terrified. And Reiki, that's like one of the most basic things. Reiki is a Japanese technique for relaxation and stress reduction that promotes healing. And that's what so many of these studies have shown. That it's so helpful for anxiety. It's so helpful for calming us down. And especially during this time where like the fear programming, the fear broadcasting, it's so strong, you know, and you just turn on the news and it's there. It's there. It's waiting. And that's, you know, going in the airway. So, you know, this is really, really helpful for for calming people down, helping helping people see the big picture of their lives more. Helping people relax enough so they can make conscious choices. Hey, hey, Kimberly, welcome, darling. Yeah, I mean, this is a this is a brilliant tool, Kimberly. You work with Reiki too. Does it help you with your anxiety, your stress levels? Again and again, we're looking at the science today, and the power of Reiki, feasibility and efficacy in reducing pain in children with cancer undergoing hemo hematopo it looks like poetic but i don't think that's how you say it stem cell transplantation i'm assuming that's cancer having to do with the kidney so it's reiki is helpful for reducing pain in children with cancer undergoing some stem cell transplant in their kidneys that sounds extremely painful and reiki helps I agree, the science is catching up on the ancient wisdom practices. I'm doing a brain longevity therapy training at ARPF, and they're looking at yogic practices to prevent Alzheimer's science back. Exactly. It's, I mean, y'all, like, I was, I was at my moon meeting the other day, and my friend was talking about, like, time and space, and it's like quantum physics is there. Like, the science is there. It's just getting that science out to more and more people so that they can have those upgrades in consciousness and understand that this, these things work. They really work, and science backs it too. Kimberly says, Reiki helps me let go of the noise out there and focus on my thoughts that matter. Yes. Yes. A meditative journey is doing research and looking at studies as well. I suspect that I'll find that the yoga practices can help greatly. Yes, of course. Otherwise, I mean, would they have been passed down for thousands of years? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, what my Reiki teacher says all the time, too, is that Reiki is her mind management tool, her mind management system. And as I've said on these lives before, and as I was posting yesterday, I had this realization the other day, like, you know that quote, I think, therefore, I am? I was thinking about that, and then I was like, no, it's, I think, therefore, I create. I tried to find if someone else had already said that. I don't think so, but someone might have. But I think, therefore, I create. And that, that's, you know, a sobering thought, as B has pointed out previously. Um, And kind of like, oh, shoot, you know. Ah, right? It's a lot to take responsibility for. But Reiki is that mind management tool in calming down those anxious thoughts, calming down those, you know, fear programming type loops, anything that's just cluttering up in the mind, just that extra noise like Kimberly's saying, Reiki can really help diffuse that, lift it into the light, shine the light of awareness on it so that you know, we could start thinking about other things and implementing like mantras or other ways of really disciplining the mind during this time and realizing it is such a powerful tool, the mind that all of us have. And we can really start working with it to be creating for ourselves the life that feels the most growth promoting and expansive and fulfilling as possible and really empower other people to be doing that for themselves so that we as a collective are moving 
into this world that we really it's like wow yeah this is great this is really really neat so yeah reiki the mind management tool like i cannot validate that enough that's like the study <laughs> that's the study that's the study to do it really is it is a mind management tool for maybe some of y'all meditators know like the monkey mind it's often called the monkey mind the mind going oh ooh, ooh, there's something to think about oh there's something to stress about oh you know and just kind of like bouncing around oh i'm gonna eat this banana you know i'm gonna oh what about bananas oh, i don't bananas grow and just going on and on and oh worrying about this stressing about that like having an insecurity about this and reiki's just like Whoosh okay okay I'm here now what what was I doing okay I see that thought I don't have to go there you know I don't have to indulge it right and yeah it's helping so much with with the anxiety with the stress yeah Kim really's going to get the pooch out well good to see you darling so I was saying yeah it reduces pain in children with cancer Reiki for pain during hemodialysis, again with the kidneys, like, I think dialysis, what I've heard about it is, uh, is like, excruciating, and, like, people who are at that point, like, don't want to live anymore because it sucks so bad, and Reiki was effective for pain during hemodialysis, you know, that's, that's amazing. The effects of Reiki versus physiotherapy on relieving lower back pain and improving activities of daily living in patients with intervertebral dyskernia. So, like, again, that's, like, a lot of pain, a lot of pain in the back, and it's helping with that. They compared it to another therapy. And then looking at the safety of Reiki for newborns at risk for neonatal abstinence syndrome not entirely sure what that syndrome is but i think it's great the thought of newborns receiving reiki that's just delicious i mean that is just that is beautiful so they also have a study showing immediate symptom relief after a first session of reiki in hospitalized patients and this was a five-year study Effects of Reiki on pain, anxiety, and blood pressure in patients undergoing a knee replacement. And y'all know, especially if y'all plant-based people are tuning in, like, blood pressure issues are a major problem. And Reiki is shown to be beneficial for, for blood pressure as well. So, yeah, it's helpful with coping with cancer pre-surgery again you know helpful for pain having to do with vein incisions I mean y'all it just like it goes on and on and again those were just studies from 2018 2019 2020 2021 and I mean this list it literally I'm like scrolling and scrolling there's so much research on this it's evidence-based you know to think that this is just some airy fairy you know reiki some airy fairy thing to be um dismissed and not taken seriously is complete bs you know it's not true there's plenty of evidence um there's also a really great quote on the website about the center for reiki research see if I could pull that one up real quick have you looked at healing visualizations I mean that's what I do every single time I you know I'm I'm here in and giving visualizations for people but yeah I have a master of psychology as well and guided imagery and visualizations were were studied and shown to be helpful that was one of the therapeutic techniques that I learned in my mainstream Western clinical psychology training so visualizations guided imagery absolutely 
and activating Reiki during those is going to go even deeper because it's calling in specific frequency of healing energy to assist with the imagery to strengthen it you know strengthen the vis visualization so Reiki is one of the leading safe energy medicine approaches the study summaries provided by the Center for Reiki research are the best source of information on Reiki research and this is from C. Norman Sheely who is an MD, a PhD, founder of the American Holistic Medical Association. So Reiki is one of the leading safe energy medicine approaches. And as I've said many times here, you know, Reiki does no harm. Reiki does no harm. It is complementary with any kind of Western medical treatment, any kind of other alternative therapy, any any spiritual path, any spiritual modality, any other energy modality. I will say it does not mix well with demonic magic. <laughs> Doesn't mix well with that. I will say that. Um, however, not that I was practicing that, but I was in an experience is a long story, and I'm not going to talk much about it here. But for the most part, Reiki is really is really complementing with many things it's complementary with chemotherapy you know that's why there are so many different hospitals with programs reiki programs that are working on the cancer patients you know in the oncological units so really really helpful um yeah y'all have any questions His uh, website is just incredible because she wrote a book to Dr. Ann Baldwin, who's in charge of the Center for Reiki Research, um, to just put it all together there. But there's there's so many studies, and there's more and more all the time looking at specific manifestations. But really, anxiety, stress reduction, pain, relaxation. The, the evidence, it's really, it's incontrovertible at this point. It's really, really compelling at this point. And it's only growing, and I only um, anticipate that it will grow as more people receive Reiki sessions and more people um, take classes. Thank you. One of the most powerful ones that I see in my mind are clear flowing rivers and large trees in full bloom with greenery like the ones Buddha used to meditate under. That's, yeah, there are, there are actually guided imagery and guided visualizations in the Reiki classes um, during the attunements, during the placements, and I will say we go, there's a river of life one, and walking through forests, and these are, you know, spiritual locations to go to and receive healing, and receive guidance, and receive um, empowerment, receive whatever it is we need, whatever it is we're looking for, whatever it is we need to remember at this moment in time, because we all need help uh, remembering certain things, you know, remembering who we are and, and why we're here, and also receiving the, the energy, the empowerment, the clarity, the inspiration to uh, embody that and move forward more fully with more confidence, with more grace, with more support, with more perseverance and commitment, dedication, precision, and yeah, that's, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful place to be. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to be here, y'all. I'm grateful for each of you tuning in here. And, um, yeah, it's my intention with this invocation. We'll move into the invocation now. And invocation is a, a guided meditation where I'm calling in the energy of Reiki. And you're welcome to receive Reiki energy during these invocations. Reiki respects free will. If you're watching, you're not sure you want to receive or not. 
you will not receive Reiki. But if you are open, you're wanting some healing, some healing of physical, psychological issues, some help with anxiety, with your stress, with depression, with, you know, mental health and wellness, physical health and wellness, emotional health and wellness, then that is that is certainly on offer here. So I will go ahead and begin soon. So y'all can go ahead and take a comfortable seat. I'm going to have a sip of my drink here. Take a comfortable seat. That can be supported or unsupported. You can also lay down if you like. Have any sacred objects that you like to work with near you or it can just be you on your couch or on the floor, on your yoga mat. And just be there. Be comfortable in your body, as comfortable as you possibly can be at this moment in time. And take a deep breath in. And exhale. Let it go. Breathe in. And breathe out, let it go, let it all out. Breathe in one more time. And breathe out. And notice how just with three breaths, you're feeling more relaxed, more peaceful, calmer, and allow some feelings of safety to enter your heart. Breathe in the light of Reiki. The light of Reiki enters in on your breath. And the light fills you up. Fills you up like a balloon inflating. The light of Reiki is within you. It's circulating inside your body. And the light of Reiki touches and nourishes and heals any areas of pain in your body, any areas of tension or stress. The light shines on these areas. giving you and gifting you some immediate relief, an immediate sigh, an immediate feeling of, it's okay now, I'm okay now. Inhale deeply the power of love, the power of love comes in on your breath. And it lights up, and it wakes up this power of love within you. This power of love within you that is capable of healing any physical or psychological pain or problem, issue within you or around you. This power of love is 
the most powerful force in all of creation. And this power of love, your power of love is lit up within you, it's awake within you, alive within you, beating with every heartbeat, breathing with every breath that you breathe, it is there within you and it's there all around you. Feel the power of love. Inhale now, the light of the divine mind, the light of the divine mind enters in on your breath and it illuminates your mind, it illuminates your thoughts, it awakens your intuition. The light of the divine mind creates space in your mind, creates peace in your mind. The light of the divine mind wakes up your higher knowing, your higher intellect, your imagination, your analytical abilities, your mental creative force. You think, therefore, you create. And with the light of the divine mind shining, illuminating, healing, cleansing, bathing, and nourishing your mind, you create with the power of love. You create that which is needed in the world. You create for the highest good of yourself, others, and the world. You create for the highest good of all. Inhale now, and the light of pure consciousness enters your being, enters your body, enters your breath, your energy field. The light of pure consciousness shines in your heart. Your heart light shines, it radiates radiates compassion and love. Your heart light shines so strong. It heals any physical pain or tension in your body. It heals any physical illness in your field. It fortifies you, it strengthens you with every beat of your heart. Your body grows stronger your physical body grows stronger, grows healthier. Your mind grows stronger. Your mind grows healthier. Your heart light heals your heart. It heals the griefs and the worries and the stresses, the insecurities, the fears, the sadness, the pain, the loneliness, the the panic that's in your heart. Your heart light shines its light into the deepest, darkest corners of your light, of your heart. It shines light there in those corners. And by shining the light in those corners, it illuminates them, it heals them. It clears them, it finds whatever's there, and it takes it into the light to be healed. The dark corners of your heart are now light. Breathe in the light. 
Breathe in the light of the divine earth, grounding you, keeping you safe in your body, keeping you whole, sustaining you. The light of the divine earth wakes up the light of the earth within every cell of your body aligning you with the natural rhythms the natural cycles aligning you and reorganizing you at a cellular level at a DNA level whatever level is needed reorganizing you reorienting you to be in harmony with the cycles and the rhythms and the divine sacred plan of the earth. The light of the earth rises through you and scans your entire body, your whole energy field, healing and clearing and bathing and cleansing and purifying. Anything that's less than light here is lifted into the light. And you grow lighter, you grow healthier, you grow stronger, you grow more whole. Your body becomes safer and healthier with every breath that you breathe. Breathe in the light now, the light of creation, the divine light. And this light wakes up your divinity, your divine nature, together with your human nature, and the beautiful sacred body temple that you call home. The light of the divine lifts from you any burdens, any worries, any fears, any remaining darkness, any remaining density, obstructions, blockages, diseases, illnesses, anything that's festering in your body, in your psyche, in your energy field, these are lifted into the light to be healed. By grace, through grace, receive the light of the divine. Receive this light. Be willing to let go of anything that is less than light. Be willing to let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Be willing to let go of, of your illness, of your disease, of your worry or grief or pain. Be willing to be free of it. And into the light it goes. Into the light it goes into the light, be healed. Feel your body now. Feel your mind now. Be filled with light. You're filled with light. You're filled with clarity. You're filled with health. You're filled with vitality. You're filled with creativity. You're filled with love. your heart now and be thankful for your heart be thankful for your breath be thankful for your body your mind 
Be thankful for your life. Be thankful for this planet, this moment, this here and now that you're in. Thank you to Reiki and all the physical and non-physical beings, frequencies and energies that have come together to support this soul family today. Thank you to you for being willing to fortify your physical and psychological health with the light of Reiki. Thank you for being open-minded and curious and willing to try something new and different and explore what is possible for you in your life. Thank you, Reiki, for continuing to bless creation with your love and empowerment and healing. Thank you to those who have come before us and those who will come after us. Aho, amen, namaste, and so it is. As a child of God, I claim my power and purpose as a servant of God. I demand that all darkness leave me and all who are present immediately. I ask that Archangel Michael place me and all who are present in his blue bubble of protection against all darkness. Namaste. You may continue with this experience for as long as you like. If you came in late, go back, watch it. I see Susie's on. Go back. Listen. I love each of you so much. Yeah, all of these are on my IGTV at Joyful Raw Life. And I will be uploading them to YouTube. My YouTube channel is Taylor A. Norris. Y'all please go subscribe there in case Instagram has problems again. And I will be... I will have all of these Reiki lives there where it's easy to watch them. You're really so helpful. Thank you, The Healing Junction. Hi, Paulina. Your game week is over. <laughs> I love all of y'all so much. If you want to go deeper, please check out my sessions, my classes. We're only scratching the surface, and Reiki's going to be something that is like completely normal and celebrated in the future so if you still want to get in early like now's your chance you know I thought I was getting in late and now I like by starting my Reiki journey two years ago and now I'm realizing I'm actually I got in early there's still a chance to get in early but this will be something I think in 10 years will look back and be like it's like completely mainstream so I love y'all. Y'all have a beautiful day. Like, share, help me out. Help me share the energy with more people. We all need some healing support, right? <laughs> Bye, beautifuls. Y'all shine on.